The United States Air Force begins applying artificial intelligence to tactical flight with the XQ-58A Valkyrie unmanned combat aircraft. This fighter is designed to accompany the pilot in battle and assist in developing attack strategies. The XQ-58A Valkyrie is an unmanned tactical combat aircraft in collaboration with Kratos Defense and Security Solutions, Inc. and the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory, AFRL. The plane weighs 6,000 pounds, can fly at 550 miles per hour, and can fly up to 45,000 feet. This aircraft design is designed to master stealth mode movement, carry missiles, and hit targets far beyond its visual range. But of course the most prominent element of the Valkyrie is how this plane is run by artificial intelligence. Valkyrie's main mission is to combine artificial intelligence capabilities with aircraft sensors in identifying enemy threats, which then after obtaining approval under human control, can then launch an attack. Trials of the Valkyrie were recently conducted at Eglin Air Force Base, Florida. Later, at the end of the year, there will be another trial in the Gulf of Mexico. This pilot will see how the Valkyries develop their own strategies for pursuing and attacking targets. At Eglin, citing the New York Times, one of the trials was run by Major Ross Elder. The trials were carried out by flying the F-15 with Valkyrie as a companion or wingman. Major Elder said it was a strange feeling, that he was flying with something that could trigger his own decisions, but not a human brain. Currently the United States is competing with China in developing technological superiority for national security. They began to consider the pros and cons, related to the amount of capital used to develop fighter aircraft. Therefore, the current program is touted as an affordable program, in which the U.S. Air Force plans to build 1,000 to 2,000 unmanned combat aircraft with a new generation of artificial intelligence. The cost that comes out is only about 3 million U.S. dollars per unit. These units will be divided into several types of tasks. Some will be tasked with focusing on surveillance and resupply missions, flown in strike groups, and others will be assigned as a loyal companion to a human pilot. As a companion or wingman, this unmanned aircraft will be tasked with carrying out initial surveillance, disabling enemy air defenses and disabling missile targets. The applied artificial intelligence will evaluate information from sensors when it detects an enemy threat, before then reporting it first to human pilots, before being asked to launch an attack with missiles. The US Air Force says it is fully aware that artificial intelligence technology does not include human intelligence. These machines have no moral guidelines. Colonel Tucker Hamilton, chief of U.S. Air Force AI test operations, said how the mission will prove drone flight safety systems with AI technology, as well as solve tactical problems while operating in the air. However, he also mentioned that this mission is an extraordinary responsibility that must be achieved methodically and ethically in small steps. In the future, the development results from this mission will be applied to the next autonomous fighter program and so on.